Hello gainers and gain getters. Ralphie here with some fitter philosophy. Uh, adding the fitness to the philosophy and the philosophy into the fitness. So here we are on location at Key Fitness Ramsey Isle of Man, which just happens to be my local gym. So a big thank you to Andrew and Zoe, the proprietors, for allowing me to record a video here to post online. So if you fancy joining your local gym and you happen to live in Ramsey, Key Fitness is not far from your front door. Now, just before I get started, just a quick reminder, I am not a personal trainer, I am not a qualified fitness instructor, but I do have four years of fairly consistent lifting experience, and it does give me some ability to share with you part of the journey. Now, it's not my, I can share my journey to help you with your journey. Now, your journey starts at the beginning, so let's start at the beginning here with your first time at the gym. Find out where your local gym is, there may be more than one local gym, uh, and go and pay them a visit. Now, before you sign any contracts, before you pay your money, before you sign up with your debit card or your credit card for online or PayPal or whatever, for six months to a year, Whatever you do, go and check the place out first. This is really quite important because you want to know if you're going to be in, in a comfortable environment. When you walk into the gym, is it a busy place? Now, don't worry about the cosmetics, you know, how well lit it is, or just how up-to-date and modern the equipment is. That's not so as important as whether people using the gym are there to genuinely train, and gain, or whether they're sitting about posing, uh, checking Instagram, on the phone making a conversation or whatever, or just loading up the equipment they happen to be on, surrounding themselves with weights and wasting their time and indirectly wasting our time as well because the fact is that when you're in an environment training, if it's busy, productive and active environment, it is going to be hugely beneficial to your own motivation to be surrounded by other people who are busy. There's nothing cramps your ability to get on with your gains like a whole load of lazy posers who are not doing much and are wasting their time. It happens. Um, I would also suggest not necessarily perhaps the closest gym to you, but if you do have options, check out both or several options before you make a decision. You might want to change gyms later on, but if you find somewhere that's perhaps not even the nearest to you, but that if it, if it just feels right, to a certain extent you're following your instinct and it's a good place to start. Um, be prepared, in other words, when you go along to the gym for your first workout, you need to have your gym bag. Here's what may be in it. Training shoes. Don't wear outdoor shoes in the gym. Wear comfortable clothes in the gym. Don't wear tight pants. Don't wear, don't wear muddy shoes. Have a decent pair of indoor training shoes. I mean, this is a good specialist example. These happen to be Adidas lifting shoes. You're not necessarily going to invest in these until you have about five or six months under your belt of training so is that you you decide whether you're going to stick it or not before you actually spend money on kit. But we all have a towel. We all have shampoo. Nothing fancy, nothing perfumed and scented. Ordinary, plain, simple, cheap, generic shampoo is absolutely fine. And um, before too long, particularly if you're, excuse me, dropping stuff in the deck here, before we get too far into our lifting, particularly heavy compound lifting, we really want to get a decent gym lifting belt. Now, know what I said there, decent. Um, there are so many options as regards weight belts uh, and quite a number of them are too flimsy, too cosmetics, too cosmetic and frequently overpriced. 
What I recommend is something like this, which is generic. I bought it on eBay, it cost me £15. Note, it's thick leather, solid stitching, it is rigid, it is solid. The purpose of a good solid buckle lock and the purpose of this is to support our midsection. When we are involved in the compound lifts, deadlift, squats on the squat rack or bench presses on a bench press bench. Um, it's reassuring and it also helps us avoid injury. There we go. Another thing you will need Water. Always have water when you go to the gym. Uh, I need to top this up a bit. And don't just have a small bottle of water. Have a decent sized bottle of water. Because you should be hydrating yourself, taking sips from the bottle. Big sips, not little sips, as you go along. Um, when you start off your first time at the gym, make sure you warm up. Start your session by warming up your core body temperature. It is going to save you from getting injured when you're putting your body through the challenges of what it's not used to, and that is the systematic lifting um, through several exercises during your session. Once you finish your session, conclude with a stretching. Not a heavy duty stretching, but a steady methodical stretching, just to remobilize the muscles you've been working and help to get the blood flowing, flowing through the muscles. When you, particularly when you're first starting the gym, don't go too heavy. Be slow, steady, methodical and focus on lifting a reasonable weight in your exercise and you're not going totally to failure. You're exercising full range of motion, you're being systematic and you're thinking about what you're doing. This is important because too many folks start off in the gym full of enthusiasm and they very quickly hurt themselves because they're lifting too heavy, too quickly, it's not full range of motion and they're basically messing things up. Keep it steady, keep it slow, keep it methodical. Next, um, learn from others the experienced people around you in the gym. Learn from others how to do exercises and to make the most out of your session. When you go to a gym, there will be people who will be prepared to share their experience with you and help you. Also, there will be others that you see at the gym, they are crashing and bashing the weights, and for goodness sake, don't drop weights in the gym. It looks really bad and it makes you look stupid because you are being stupid. Don't drop weights, but you will see people who are exercising bad habits, they're not lifting correctly. Observe these people, because you can learn enough, you can learn as much from their bad habits as from creating your own good habits. Uh, another thing I would recommend is that uh, you allow proper time for your session. Don't rush it. If it's getting too heavy for you, you can cut a little bit short, but say at least 45 minutes. Um, take your time, have plenty of rest between your sets. As I said, focus on form, focus on full range of motion, and focus on learning at an early stage how to use the weights and the equipment correctly. If you're not sure, speak to people who are supervising the gym and get them to show you. If in doubt, leave it out. Um, if you come across a piece of equipment you're not sure how to operate, don't, don't use it until you've been shown how to, because it's going to save you from an injury. And finally, at the end of it, reward yourself. When you have finished your gym session, have a good shower, get back out into the fresh air, go for a brisk walk, have a cup of coffee, have a wee treat, not a big treat mind you, just a wee treat. Because the last thing you want to do, having burnt off a few calories in the gym, is to go and pig out and donuts and high cal calorific carbohydrates, which are really, literally, in a short space of time, going to undo the good work that you have gained from your exercise. 
at the same time as exercising, it's a very good opportunity to go to a low carbohydrate, sensible fat protein diet, which is a little bit old fashioned, has lots of fresh fruit and vegetables. In other words, you're eating sensibly because at this point, when you're not overloading with carbs and you've got more exercise under your belt, you're burning more carbs, you're going to see that valuable weight loss and body reshaping which is going to be so important in motivating you in your progress. And there you have it. I'm Ralphie, on location in the gym at Key Fitness, sharing my experience to help you gain your experience and uh, <laughs> I'll probably be in here again uh, showing some of the equipment and uh, giving you uh, some useful tips while we're at it. Here's my clicker. It means that this video's concluded. Over and out. See you soon. Don't forget now, if you like what you see, subscribe. Leave a comment. Tick the box that says like. And if you don't like it, you can tick that box as well. I don't really care. See you soon. Bye-bye.